Hey everyone, this is Cody, and today I'm going to be bringing you my thoughts on the Celestron Origin Smart Telescope. Now, I'm sure there's been dozens of videos talking about pre-impressions on this telescope before it's been released, and I'm going to add to those videos here with my own version, uh, but I think I'll be able to bring some unique insights that might not have been considered so far. Additionally, I reached out to some of my friends and contacts at Celestron, and I'm really grateful for them because they're going to let me use a lot of the animations and clips from their YouTube video, which is very well done. I'd highly recommend checking it out if you haven't. Uh, but the graphics and animations in their video are just awesome. So I'm going to be pulling a lot of content from Celestron today for this video as I discuss the origin and, and some aspects that might make it very unique. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the, the video. So first things first, obviously the Celestron Origin uses a six inch RASA and I am absolutely thrilled about that because the RASA is my favorite telescope I have. I have the eight inch RASA as you know and I use it all the time. It's definitely the telescope that's got the most use out of my entire collection. And so the six inch RASA being even smaller and lighter is going to fit absolutely perfectly on a fork mount. And if you're using a fork mount, you need to take short exposures so you avoid field rotation the six inch RAS is gonna allow you to take short exposures and just be an absolutely awesome scope. One thing I was kind of thinking about with the six inch RASA is at F2, let's square that number and make it four. Let's take a six inch Schmidt Cassegrain that's F10 and square that number, that's 100. 100 divided by four is 25. So the six inch RASA is going to be 20 time, 25 times faster than a six inch Schmidt Cassegrain. So a 10 second exposure on the six inch RASA would take you 250 seconds on a six inch F10 Schmidt Cassegrain. That is incredibly fast. So not only is the six inch RASA much better in terms of gathering speed than a F10 Schmidt Cassegrain, but compared to the human eye, you know, when you're behind an eyepiece, you're not picking up light at all. So as I was talking to Celestron about this video, they really said that the human eye is the weak point of the system when it comes to observing, and that's absolutely true. So I don't think this telescope is designed as much to be a astrophotography telescope as it is to kind of replace the, the eyepiece model of observing. And as we take undergraduates out and do star parties with them at my university, you know, you'll show them a galaxy and it's a tiny little smudge and they're just not as interested in it. I know, a lot of the older astronomers love the, the eyepiece. It's kind of what they grew up with. Um, but newer astronomers love screen time, right? <laughs> um, and so I think this is going to drastically change astronomy and make it fun for people that eyepiece observing is not as exciting for them. Now the moon behind an eyepiece, still amazing. You know, the planets, amazing. Even a lot of those globular clusters and open clusters are really cool through the eyepiece. But when you start getting into nebulae and galaxies and stuff like that, well, that's when a lot of our undergraduate students start to lose interest. And we actually picked up two smart telescopes and they really flock to those. So I think the Celestron uh, origin is going to really increase the market for smart telescopes because Celestron went all out on this thing. The six inch RASA is an absolutely perfect choice for a smart telescope. And it's a bold choice too. It's, it's big, it's fast, and it's, a, it's gonna be awesome. So great choice from Celestron, integrating the six inch RASA into the origin. The imaging sensor that Celestron went with is the Sony IMX178. Now this is a CMOS sensor, backlit, Starvis technology. So it's going to be quite sensitive and it has small pixel sizes. So the pixels are 2.4 microns by 2.4 microns. So quite small. You're gonna get high resolution images out of the RASA 6. Now, as I mentioned, I've used the RASA 8 for years and I use the uh, Sony IMX183 sensor, which also has those same pixel sizes and it always gives me great resolution. So I think it was a good choice from Celestron to pick a sensor that has small pixels to give you that resolution, but it's also quite sensitive because you're going to be taking a lot of exposures and stacking those images. I'm absolutely thrilled that Celestron did not overlook uh, allowing us to use one and a quarter inch and two inch filters. That's a great addition to the origin because most of us live in areas of high concentrated light pollution. It's just a fact of life these days. And so being able to uh, incorporate light pollution filters or other styles of filter into the RASA 6 for the origin is going to be 
a great addition. So very happy that Celestron included that too. Now Celestron has come out with some really cool technology over the years from StarSense to the focus motor, more recently the dew heater rings and the dew shields that kind of have your cable management built in. All of that is included on the Origin to make it a true smart telescope. So the corrector plate has the dew heater ring around it. So, you know, if you start to get condensation on your corrector plate, that's going to kick on and start to uh, take care of that issue, which is awesome. The dew shield is going to help prevent that a little bit, but block stray light and also give you cable management for your camera. So you have a nice compact setup. And then at the rear, obviously you have the full computer for all the AI processing and running the star sense technology to align the telescope, the whole system. But the real big thing for me at that back end is that the files can go on a flash drive. I will talk a little bit more about why that's so important in a little bit. And you also have a focus motor. So at F2 or F2.2 or whatever the six inch RASA is, the focal plane is going to be very, very small. And so a focus motor is absolutely critical for getting you the best focus. And again, this is a true smart telescope. You shouldn't be out there focusing your telescope. So Celestron took that ability away from you, integrated a focus motor and it's gonna do it all, which is, I think, so nice. So overall, the telescope incorporates a ton of technology that Celestron has come out with over the years into one great package. The app looks incredibly simple to use, just like Celestron Sky Portal or Sky Safari. Uh, it's going to be very easy to use. And the coolest part about it, I think, is that it does processing while you're imaging. So you're basically just stacking photos and photos and having these AI processes. But Celestron also included a way for you to do some basic processing in the app as well. So a lot of insight went into making this app powerful, but also simple, which I like. So anyone that's new to astronomy or astrophotography or anything like this can buy an Origin and have basic processing control and kind of get their feet wet before they dive into more advanced image processing, which I think is a really great touch. It also will show new astronomers how important signal to noise ratio is. So as we start stacking those images, you're going to see the quality improve continuously throughout your, your imaging session. So I think this is going to be a great way to engage people is with the app. A well-designed app goes a long way these days, especially the younger astronomers, I'm sure can probably attest to that. So when you have a smart telescope that's simple to use with a simple app, this is gonna be pretty successful, I think. So great job from Celestron and just keeping things simple. The mount is based on the Celestron Evolution mount, which is an excellent mount, has a lithium iron phosphate battery, and what's cool is it's got clutches, so if you want to change the orientation of your origin for storage or taking it down, you can just undo the clutches, move things how you want, and redo them. Uh, the other cool part about the Evolution mount, obviously you have full Wi-Fi control there, and the internals are built like a tank, so the Evolution is rock solid. You're also going to get a stable tripod, with the Origin and also has the tabletop ability as well. So again, a lot of modularity and this whole system is pretty lightweight. It will break down into you know your tripod, your mount, and your, your telescope. And so traveling with the Origin is gonna be simple. And it's even gonna be more simple when you get to your travel site, you just set it up and it aligns itself and you're off to the races. So again, this thing is, is pretty awesome. Celestron covered this information a lot more in depth than I did but I wanna talk about some of the applications of the Origin now. So one area I think Origin will be unique is in research. So I teach astronomy at my local university and undergraduate research can be challenging because students have to learn all the setup for a telescope, how to balance it, how to pull or align it, how to acquire the data properly. And then they have to learn how to calibrate it, put it all through all their programs, and then you know come up with their conclusions and do all these things. So it can be quite daunting. Origin is gonna make learning how to do research so much easier because you can take the whole telescope setup out of the equation. It will set up itself, and then you're just more worried about the data collection and processing. So I think Origin will greatly enhance university photometry projects, you know, variable stars, uh, looking at asteroid rotation periods, that sort of thing. Uh, so when I was in graduate school, I studied asteroid rotation periods with differential photometry, and I think Origin would be awesome for this for two reasons. Again, number one, it's simple and easy to set up, but number two, it would be quite easy to collaborate with others, and that's really key in asteroid rotation period research because I can observe an asteroid and get one data point you know, every few minutes or so, 
But if I have multiple observers, you know, seven or eight observers all looking at the same asteroid, gathering that same data, when we combine all of our data, our error bars get shorter and our conclusions become much stronger. So I can publish an asteroid rotation period with much higher confidence with, you know, the work of eight or nine collaborators than I could by myself. So if a bunch of universities are, are buying Origins, you could have like this awesome collaborative network for real life research on variable stars or, or asteroids or whatever. So I think the opportunity for research with the Origin is going to be pretty cool. And this is another reason why I think it's so important that the files are downloadable with a flash drive because you can stick your flash drive in there, get the files, and you're ready to you know start processing for your for your research data. So overall, just to summarize here, I think the origin is going to be awesome for your traditional astronomy market, visual observers or astrophotographers. I think it's going to be great. EAA, it's going to be even bigger. Star parties are going to rock with the Celestron origin and people are going to get so excited about it, especially when multiple people can see what's going on and live stacking. It's just going to be great for EAA, especially. And then for university research, whether you're doing asteroid studies or variable star studies, or even looking at exoplanets, I think it's going to be cool to get more people into research because it's going to be less daunting, more inclusive, if you will. So I think the origin has a lot of potential. It's going to be really cool. And I think it's a really bold entry by Celestron. The RASA 6 is no joke. That is a serious telescope. And that is going to be a huge addition, I think, to the smart telescope market to have this big step up above a lot of what the other smart telescopes will do. So overall, I love the origin. I think it's a pretty darn cool idea. I'm excited to see where it goes and what people do with it. So please leave a comment below. What are your thoughts on Origin? Are you going to buy one? Have you pre-ordered one? Um, and uh, yeah, excited to see what you have to, to say and, and see what people do with it. So anyway, hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for watching and clear skies.